All right, friends, it's Sam DeGangie. In case you don't know, it's the correct views, but it's Halloween night. I was taking votes on which of my fictional characters you liked the best. Based on the response, Larry Throwenback, who is the designated driver for the correct views, and the one and only Mr. Arg Mortis the friendly human resource manager who answers the phone with his kind voice when you called. Those were the two that won, so those are the two that are bringing you the Halloween show. For those of you who haven't seen this show before, normally we're a very serious political show. However, on Halloween night, we do some strange and unusual things. We bring you real stories from characters that never existed, but could have. So friends, here we go. We're going to go into it right now, and I'm going to go in character. This is all done in one take. Hello, everyone. It's the Invisible Man, as you can see. Uh, sir, I'm not sure they can see. Well, I have the lights out because I didn't know if you guys could see, but there behind me is the pumpkin that Sam carved yesterday. The sad face is the one that he carved today. You know, the theater of pain. And then, of course, on the far left, or maybe your far right, if you're watching on the screen, is the pumpkin that Sam carved last year. And the pumpkin to the other side is a picture of Mr. Donald Trump, which Christelle carved last year. Arg Mortis should be thrilled. What the hell are you using a pumpkin for last year? That's the stupidest damn thing I've ever seen. What did you do that for? Well, because I don't think Christelle cares enough about the show or you and I to bother to show up this year. That's the dumbest damn thing I've ever seen. All right, friends, it's Arg Mortis. I'm the guy who answers the phone when you call. You guys picked me. You guys said I was the best of the characters, didn't they? Well, technically speaking, they did say you and... Oh, of course they meant you. Mm. And I'm going to give you a story from the metro.co.uk. Man filmed himself dying after letting a black mamba bite him when the relationship ended. I think that might be why Christelle isn't on the show today. It might be because she hates her husband. She's making him use last year's pumpkin and the stupid-ass thing that he carved. Man filmed himself dying after letting a black mamba bite him. A man streamed his own suicide. After being bitten by a mamba snake in an attempt to kill himself after his marriage broke down, Russian snake hander Arslan Aviv asked viewers to contact his ex-wife, ex-Terina Katya Paskakina, after showing them what looked like a bite wound on his hand. <laughs> the 31-year-old logger who ran a YouTube channel called Bobcat TV with his former partner visibly determined deteriorated on camera before walking off screen where he collapsed. Earlier, he had stepped away from the stream and could be heard saying, ouch, as the snake bit him. And at least one viewer is believed to have called emergency services, which arrived to save him, but it was too late. In a live stream, his breathing becomes more rapid and his eyes begin to roll into the back of his head. <laughs> He tells his audience, pass it on to Katya, that I loved her very much before moving his hand towards the camera. Beautiful, isn't it? Damn how it's a bye to everyone. I can't believe it's happening to me. He later, later read out his life's, his wife's contact number before adding, I'm already dying. Farewell, I shall be glad to see you, Katya. Damn, I'm shaking. Earlier this month, Arslan, who is from St. Petersburg in Russia, publicly apologized after he allegedly beat Katya so badly she suffered a concussion after accusing her of cheating. Maybe he wouldn't have beat her skull in if she hadn't been a cheater. <laughs> but you're not allowed to say something like that. Maybe if she had been a little bit more loyal, he wouldn't have let the snake bite him. <laughs> and that's my report for Halloween. I do think that's a bit morbid. Don't you think you should have another outlook on it? 
I guess I could be a little bit more fair-minded. I guess I could say that I'd like to report snake abuse, because we don't know if the guy washed his hands before he let the snake bite him. And if it didn't, then there's a real good chance that snake could get some kind of an infection. Who knows, maybe it was some weird mental disorder, and now the Black Mamba won't be happily married anymore. That would be a travesty. Well, I'm not really sure that's the way it was meant to be read, but uh, go ahead, Og. I, I, I would believe that your segment is done. What are you trying to say? Uh, I'm trying to say that I think we've heard enough. Uh, friends, hey, hey, fuck you. Like, just, just go. Just go. Everything is fine. I got the light back on, and we have our last guest, Mr. Larry Throwin back. Now, for those of you that don't know, as you can see, I'm standing here in front of you, Mr. Invisible Man. As you know, we have one more guest this evening, and it's Mr. Larry Throwenback. Now, he is the designated driver for the correct views. That means if somebody calls, he's the one who gives them a ride. He's nothing but a ridiculous drunk. No, no, he'd never get drunk when he has a job to do. Larry, are you ready to do your part? I can see why. I kind of know exactly what needs to be done in this camera. It's all, it's all, I think I'll go on that. And what's this freaking hammer? Alright guys, I'm taking calls. Throughout the night I'm taking phone calls for you. I'm the designated driver for the correct views. And I'm going to tell you about WDTN, the police. Warren teen caught having sex with the wiener dogs for the second time. Now many of you know that the Sam I believe Ganges is the regular host of the show. A lot of you know that he covered the first time this happened. And now it looks as though it's happened again. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got we got we got caller. We got a caller. Yes, caller. I'm being, I'm being asked if the wiener dog was consensual or not. And it doesn't really say here if the wiener dog was consensual, but it says in Warren, Ohio, police say a teenage boy admitted to having sex with a dog again. Now, I you know, drink enough, you end up having sex with a lot of people that are dogs, but you don't normally do it twice. Police said the family member found the 17-year-old boy naked in bed with a dog in his home on a Homewood Avenue southeast. They reported it to Trumbull Children's Services. They should have, well, if they reported it to Children's Services, and it might have been the dog that took advantage of the boy. It might not have been the boy that took advantage of the dog. It says the teen spends half his time with children's services and the other half with his family. And if the family has a dog, I don't see any reason why they have to break up by him. It's been almost exactly a year to the day since the then 16-year-old was charged with animal cruelty after having sexual contact with the dog. Those acts happened before Warren's bestiality law took effect. Now, is charged with animal cruelty. Now, you know, if he used enough lubrication, it was easy. It might not have been, it didn't necessarily have, it might not have been cruel. I've had sex with a, now he's facing two misdemeanor counts of bestiality and charges of animal cruelty. So he must have taken his wiener hand and been rather, rather extensive with it. Uh, it says, during an extended interview with Trimble County Children's Services, the boy confessed to having sex with the dog, and he said he had a problem with it. According to investigators, the dog is currently with the Animal Welfare League, checking for any injuries because of what the suspect stated. And each time he would have sexual intercourse with the dog, it would be an hour or more. So if nothing else, we know at least the dog was pleased. How many of you ladies have had a guy that, you know, let's just face it, he didn't really last uh, an hour or two. And, uh, you know, this guy kind of knew what he was doing. 
Well, my concern with the interview is he would do this to an animal. What would he do to a small child? I don't think he's interested in small children. I think he's interested in dogs. So what I think he should do, I'm going to give you some clothing tips here before I go away. I think what he needs to do is have a conversation with the dog. And if the doggy just said, I don't know that he did anything wrong, I'm going to go get a drink, but I'd like to thank you for, for Now there's Sam. Oh, Sam is here. Sam, it's good to see you. All right, friends, that's your Halloween show. Larry Thornback's a hard one to do. You guys like the drunk, and it's very hard to listen to a drunk when you don't have your straight person. And my straight person is Christelle, and she didn't care enough to do the show this year, so I had to do it by myself. Uh, Arg Mortis, by the way, did a great job. Um, look up all of my shows for uh, Halloween and Friday the 13th. I should say for all of them for October. I still think the funniest one was Arg Mortis, which I did yesterday. However, the Larry throw em back about banning the bump stock, that was pretty funny too. I think today could have gone a little bit better if I'd have had more help, but I did keep my promise, even if other people didn't. I'm going to show you, it really is true, I carved this just a little bit ago, I carved this last year, this one I carved last night, and uh, this here is a trumpkin, which Christelle did last year, and uh, I guess didn't care enough to do this year. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, I'll make sure I do another one of these when April Fool's Day comes up, or Friday the 13th. Whichever comes first. Happy Halloween, friends. Good night. God bless.